Bumba, look who we have here today. Another Say hi. Hi. You're here to have fun? Yeah. Yeah? We go ready. What say that again? Mommy do work. Mommy's gone to work? Yeah. yeah. And Daddy? And we've been doing this already. Making the train track, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Where do you want to go? Up there? Okay, let's go. Oh, windy, windy, cold day, isn't it? Yeah. Who are you kissing? Willow. Hey? Willow. Willow, okay. Georgie said she made this card. Tell me who's in the on the card. Show me who's on the card. Wallo. Show me on the card, not on the camera. Right. Wallo. Mm-hmm. Bobo. Mm-hmm. Bobo. Who else? Bora. And Georgie. And Georgie. So it's and my Georgie. Key. And your Christmas tree, lovely. So it's your two doggies. And how many cats have you got? One. One. Clever girl. You want to put that back where I had it? Okay. Good girl. Thank you. I hurt my knee. Did you hurt your knee? Are they nice? Yeah. And Rico's looking at us very strangely. But Pooh's looking at us funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Should we put one on Lily? Yeah. <laughs> you scared? You are down? Okay, that is Georgie away. Now we have to tidy up Georgie's mess. It's the first box packed up. Then we'll there. Uh, get this sorted but before we do that Rico has just started to prepare the artichokes so as promised Terry Rico is going to show you how he's going to do the artichokes for us tonight what I will say is when I was brought up we quite often had raw artichokes so um, when friends would come round and growing up in London you know friends would just uh, pop in and my mum would always have artichokes, kohlrabi, you know olives, halloumi, cheese, uh, Greek sausage, things like that so we were always ready for friends, relatives popping round and that we called these mezzedes and out would come Lily! She's there. So, what was I saying? So, out would come the mazeres for friends and family. This is, so this is the artichoke. So what my mum would do would be just to cut it in half, quarter it, and then when you cut it, you see the choke part, that kind of the hairy, fluffy bit, which is called the choke part of the artichoke, and we would just simply cut that away. And then each person would take their quarter of the artichoke and then just peel off these bits here and there would be a bit of flesh at the end in the same way as we're going to do now when it's cooked but that's how my mum would prepare it for friends and family uh, so you can eat this in its raw state you tell us how you're going to be preparing the artichoke tell us a bit about the artichoke first well, first of all, this is a globe artichoke. Okay. Um, it's the unripened flower of the thistle plant, or specific thistle plants, not just any thistle plant. Um, and there are two types of artichoke, one being this, the globe artichoke. I think this is more sort of well known. But the other one is the Jerusalem artichoke, which is a root of a sunflower, a specific type of sunflower. All right. And it's the root of it, and you cook the root. It's a the root's like a tube, a tubular 
Right. That type of route, and that's what you cook. It's called a Jer Jerusalem artichoke. But it doesn't look like that. No, it doesn't look like that. It's very common in fine dining because it's good for puring. So it's pureed Jerusalem, uh, pureed Jerusalem artichoke. Very, very popular. Right. Okay. okay. So first of all, we're just going to take this and we're going to peel off all these leaves at the bottom that are sort of thicker and tougher. And there's, you can tell if an artichoke is fresh as well, can't yep. you, bite? Because it squeaks. So just the outer, kind of the yep. ones that really don't have any meat on them. And you have to be careful because sometimes artichokes can be quite um, prickly. I think they've got pricks, like needles. On, yeah, on the top there. On the, on the top. Right. We've done that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take about half an inch off the top. Okay, you see the middle of it. And you'll be able to see the inside now, and you can see it down there, the, uh, the choke at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. That's we're going to take that out after we cook it. And we're going to take, put off the stem here. Stems can be used as well. You just pull yeah. the stems and you can eat them as well. And we'll just stop it from oxidising. We'll rub some lemon on it. And then we'll take our scissors. So if Rico didn't rub the lemon, it would quickly go and brown. Lemon. At the moment, sorry Rico, at the moment he's got them sitting in water and lemon. And any of these ends, we'll just cut them off. So that's what they've got the little <laughs> pricks. <laughs> I think we're good to go here. Okay, and that's them ready for the uh, cooking. So you're going to peel the stalks as well. You can use the stalks as well. You want the stalk as well? So that's the stalk now being peeled as well. My mum used to always peel that part. Basically, Rico's just going to steam them now. An inch of water in there, a few dribbles of olive oil, and we'll put some lemon in there as well. And we'll just bring that to the boil, and then we'll turn it down. We'll put the artichokes in and turn it down to a simmer and let them cook. About 30 minutes. The, the time of cooking really depends on the uh, size of the artichokes as well. And you know they're cooked because the leaves will just come away with these, but we'll show you that as well. Are you going to make a dip or anything for them? Yes, we will. So when I had them raw growing up, they, we would just put salt and lemon on them and then just snap, pull it up against your teeth. And, and then it was good because you'd get to the heart part of the... Um, of the artichoke and it always made my tongue feel really really funny another interesting fact apparently when you eat artichokes and drink wine it sweetens the wine so I think we might have to test that out to see if it's a true fact okay that's the water ready so in go the artichokes And there you go. And before Rico um, cut the artichokes, he gave them a good wash. Because I didn't show that bit, so I thought I'd better add that in so they were washed before he started chopping into them right. Now I'm going to go and catch up with Monday's housework. Because Monday is cleaning upstairs day. And when I've got Georgie, I got kind of was doing bits and pieces while she was here she was kind of at moments she was entertaining herself um i kind of got bits and pieces done so this is the current state that's going on so yeah i just finished okay rico's just shouted up that's him turned it down so i've just finished in here I finished my room and I just put in 
Lily's baskets there so I can hoover the whole way. I can hear Rico doing something. Let's go and see. Because he wouldn't think to call me and say, come and film. Right, let's see what he's up to. Ah, he is making a couple of dips for the artichokes. What are you making here, Rico? I can smell garlic anyway. I'm just going to make a wee bit of garlic mayonnaise and we make a wee sort of vinaigrette type dressing. Okay. Okay. So that's the vinaigrette and what's that just like garlic and mayonnaise? That's some mayonnaise and garlic, yep. So and that's that looks like mustard you've got in there? Yep. Whole, uh, whole grain mustard. Let's just get that on the go and just finish it off. Okay. So we've got whole grain mustard in I'm, here. I'm going to use balsamic vinegar because they're a wee bit sweeter. So I'll just put so much in, maybe about, it's about two tablespoons of balsamic. And we'll give that a good shake. You can use your blender for this if you want. It's a small amount, we'll just put it in here and we'll just give it a good shake. And then we'll add some oil. And then if you don't use it all up, you just add this to your salad. Correct. Keep it in the fridge and use it on your salad. I can hear those artichokes bubbling in there. Yep. Let's get some salt and pepper. Bit of garlic. And a good old shake. Just in there. Oh my goodness, that was that was a lot of garlic, Rico. It was garlic mayonnaise. Oh wow. Well. Let's get a wee bit parsley in there. Finish parsley as well. He's just picking his parsley. as well. Ready for the artichokes. We've also just added some salt and pepper and a good old stir. Just give the artichokes a wee check as well. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I think these are ready. They're ready? Just yeah. pull off one of these leaves. No, they're not. Oof. No. No, they're not. No, they're not. No. Okay. Back to the housework. I've just got the bathroom to do. And I'm done, 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 done. Just going to light in there as well. This, it's the kind of things I really find monotonous when you have to week in, week out, take everything, dust it and put it back. I hate it. It's like my perfume tree. That's the other one I really can't be bothered doing, but it has to get done every week. So we had good fun with Georgie, so let's me back to looking after Georgie now because Ruth is back at work because things have sort of opened up, tier 3, um, which means there's limitations on restaurants and blah blah blah. So, but it's, it's horrible because 
when I think back to when I used to have Georgie pre-Covid, I would have her on the floor, we'd be rolling about with each other, I would be kissing her and hugging her and doing all of that and now we just we have to be careful because Georgie's at nursery so she's mixing with other people Ruth is out at work in her hairdressers, a busy hairdressers um, George is in a school so you don't know and the thing with this virus is you don't know who's carrying it that's that's the problem here and we are, we are we're, we've all become quite fearful and it's it's awful it's awful that me as a grandmother i can't really be a hundred percent relaxed around my grandchildren it's horrible i just wish they would hurry up and roll out this vaccine so we can all get back to our lives because this is not a good way of living it really isn't anyway i'm going to concentrate because i have a certain way of putting these things like all the kind of showering things on one side and all the kind of moisturizing things on the other side so this is a showering thing and it doesn't sit up there so i'm gonna to have to sort this <laughs> done done here's the mop we are done okay let's check the artichokes do you know i know a lot of people as well like to stuff the artichokes like stuff in between the leaves like with a breadcrumb type um stuffing let's rico checking them certainly soft now okay so we'll take them out put it down I'll check ah ha hot now it's cooked Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, yeah. I am I'm going to uh, try this because just putting them in there to drain like so I am going to dip into this like so you just lightly pull off you just bite at the edge and you get hardly anything because the real eating part is mm, it's delicious the heart the heart oh, hot you should let it cool down but I'll just try one without so see the bit chunky bit that's what you're pulling off <laughs> Oh, they make a great starter as well. You should so have it with this. Try it with that. Hold on. There's the vinaigrette. It's not a vinaigrette. It's a vinaigrette of sorts. It's okay. not a vinaigrette. It's a wee dressing that I think would go nice with that. You can serve them whole. One for each person. Because, it's, like I said, there's hardly... Yeah, what, oh. what we're going to do now is take the chalk. Yeah, Rico. You that. Yeah, you can't eat the chalk. So what Rico's going to do? Rico likes to um, half them as opposed to letting people deal with the chalk. Got the arty chalk, slicing it down the middle, and then just here. There's the chalk. All that. You can see the chalk, and you just simply scoop that out. And there's the heart. There. This is this is the yummy bit, just there. And this is what you want to take away. So, if this was a fresh artichoke, this is how my mum would cut it in half. She would cut it again down the middle. Quarter it. Yeah, but it's because I've got a half here, right? And then you would just pull off the layers and she would just simply cut that middle bit, bit out, the chalk out. Okay, you may take... The chalk out, Rico. I was going to wait till it cooled a little bit. There you are. There you go. As simple as that. As well. It's very hairy. See that? The way it is. 
Yeah, because and yep. obviously it's called the choke because it would choke you if you ate that. So it comes out quite easily, doesn't it? There we go. Little drizzle of olive oil. Then you just pull off, dip, and enjoy. Amazing. That's the part just there. Yummy. Dip it into the olive oil. And I just want to eat the heart and get the full flavour of the artichoke rather than the flavours of the dips. Lovely. Lovely. What would you say it tastes like, Rico? Because enjoying the stem. Well, the stem's it's quite saladish. Mm -hmm. I think that oh. maybe it's that the lemon that's given me that celery sort of asparagus cross between. Okay, I'm now out. I'm out, out now. Picked up a few things like Christmas crackers and mince pies oh, because more. Lux and Roses has been going on about her home baked mini uh, her home baked mince pies so I got myself some 12 mini mince pies they were from Aldi's and some wine and another candle because I like Rika picked me up one of these candles and I really liked it so you didn't, you didn't like it, didn't you? yeah I did like it after I moaned about it I <laughs> see he can't help himself and of course you need Ferrero Rocher when it's Christmas time and that's it. That's it. Oh and I got some pajamas as well. Did you want out, Lily? There we go. Oh so now we're gonna sit, eat properly. I am gonna taste the artichoke with um wine and see if it does sweeten the wine. And then I'm gonna go and edit this vlog and hopefully I can get it up for tonight. Okay, I've come up. To edit the oh, I've got Christmas jumping on by the way. Put it on for Georgie and Christmas earrings, Christmas tree earrings. Um, right, I'm up here, I'm gonna start editing. Rico is downstairs cooking. We are having a fried fish and beans, and we've been nibbling on the artichokes, <coughs> and it didn't change the uh, taste of the wine. Cheers. So it appears New Zealand have um, stopped all restrictions. So they have announced they are COVID clear as they've announced that, they've announced down south that they've discovered a new strain of the virus, which is why cases have increased. And I think London today, I haven't heard I'm sure London we're gonna to go to tier three, which is like a lockdown. So I'm exhausted with it. I'm just I'm just exhausted. Literally exhausted with the whole thing. Oh here they've started vaccinating in the old folks home old folks home that sounds awful anyway i'm too tired to think i'm literally too tired to think right i'm gonna start editing this and hopefully i have enough interesting footage for a vlog but at least the artichokes are there oh 
Right, I have to get my camera because I need to get all the footage from my camera on to my laptop and I want to do my nails as well because I had to take the nail varnish off because it was all peeling. Which doesn't surprise me the amount of times I sanitised and washed my hands. It's exhausting, it really is. I have had the call from Rico. Dinner is served. And the fish smells yummy. Here we go, that's our dinner tonight. And this will go yummy with the fish. I can't wait. So we're gonna end the vlog with Rico opening all the advent calendars, which is really excited because I'm not smudging my nails. Number 13. Unlucky for some. Did we open one yesterday? No, no that's number that. 13 okay. for yesterday, okay? Okay. Right, oh, it's another one of these pink ones, isn't it? Uh oh. Cooperberg Premium Gin Strawberry and Lime. Mmm. I think that's right down your street. Okay. Anyway, that's the number 14. Ah. Aber Falls, the spirit of North Wales, small batch Welsh gin, orange and marmalade. Mm. That sounds interesting, doesn't okay, it? Okay, Lux and Roses, we have a Welsh gin. 41.3%. Yes, that's for me. <laughs> yes. Okay, and let's do a wee fact. Okay. This fact is called 56%. We know what we like, apparently. 56% of us ask for a specific gin when we order at the bar. Okay. okay. Are you part of those 56%? Honey? Yeah, I always go for a Gordon's. I'm laughing. You, you I'm laughing. Like I'm looking that. down and Lily knows it's time for the advent calendar. She's waiting, look. Are you waiting? <laughs> we'll do yours next, right? Right. Let's do it in order of rank. Ah, you're okay, funny, Rico. <laughs> right. Let us see her calendar. Let her get excited. There you go, baby. Baby, look. This place would you look to be baby. This one. What is it? There's nothing in there. Must have fallen through. Fallen through where? I don't know. Just open 14. I'm sure she won't know. Ridiculous. Here we go, honey bunny. Ah, there we are. There, there. Mm, yummy. Okay. Now, now for the gin fest, the, the the prosecco one. Oh, thirteen's here. Oh. That's thirteen. There's fourteen. Look. So. They've all no, fallen down. Nothing there. Right? That's the, these two here. That's 13 and 14. They've all fell down. They take the things right, right off. Right. No, they are right off. That whole side's now empty. Okay. Okay. So you've got Pinot Grigio Italian Sparkling and Prosecco DOC Italian Sparkling. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> take a this. note from Costco Aldi. That's 14. That's 13. It's a whisper. Cadbury's whisper. And 14 is. Oh, that's your favourite. I keep telling you that's not my favourite. <laughs> How many years have we been married? How many years have we been married? You don't uh, even know that, do you? I do. How many? 38. Okay. Says a lot about me. <laughs> somebody yeah. asked, somebody asked of us what makes a successful marriage. Being married to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll agree with that. See? That's what makes a successful marriage. <laughs> Here you go, honey. That's just for you. Thank you. Okay. 
We seem to be missing numbers here. Oh, there's 14, look. 14, mm. see it? Right, go. You can have that one. No, it's okay, you have it. I'll okay. have those two. <laughs> okay. Okay, so on that note. The Welsh number here. Oh, the Welsh number. Yeah. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.